What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an installation walkthrough for you of Mac OS X Snow Leopard. This is actually something I'm quite excited about. I've been looking forward to it since Apple first teased it, uh, it seems like almost a year ago, that they first sort of started putting out hints that Snow Leopard would be coming. Nothing revolutionary, but does offer a lot of very small tweaks that make it a really solid OS, refined from installation to shutdown, uh, Apple is saying. So I'll be the judge and let's go ahead and See how the install process goes. First, I've done a full backup via Time Machine. I definitely recommend you do the same. Definitely back up your hard drive. So this supposedly frees up a lot of hard drive space. I'm curious how much. Let's take a look at how much hard drive space I actually have available. So we'll go ahead and get info. You can see right here that I currently have 161.72 gigs of space available. So we'll see whether or not that goes up or down. So go ahead and take the disc out of the box and we will put it in. Definitely make sure you have backups. I can't overemphasize that enough. I'm gonna do just a simple upgrade like most people will probably end up doing. No full reformat or anything, just a straight up upgrade. All right, so here is the disc. Pop it in. And let's see what happens. I should also mention, for those of you that are running uh, Windows via Boot Camp, this offers full uh, new Boot Camp drivers via Boot Camp 3.0, so you should see increased performance in Windows XP, Vista, and uh, 7.0. So I'm going to be cutting away as the installation goes, you don't have to watch the full process, but I will tell you about how long it takes. So you get the installation that pops up right here, you get the install OS 10, optional installs and instructions. Let's see what these optional installs are, just out of curiosity. Xcode, nothing that I need to install right now. So we'll go ahead and install Mac OS X. To set up the installation of Snow Leopard, click continue. So we definitely want to go ahead and do that. The software license agreement, give this a read. We'll go ahead and skim it. Oh. Okay, hit agree, click where you want it to be installed, obviously on your hard drive. Now you've got an option right here for customization, and um, this is in the bottom left hand corner, you can see what is there, usually this is where some of your other options are going to be. Whether you want to install your printer support, additional fonts, language translations, you, know, you may or may not want to install these, there are quite a, quite a few of them, I'm just going to keep it. Rosetta, which will help you emulate, emulate some uh, PowerPC programs. I don't really have much of a need for, or QuickTime 7 um, if you need it. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. Some things won't work with the new QuickTime 10. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit Install. Are you sure you want to install Mac OS 10? Click Install and quit all other applications. So we'll hit Install. Enter your password. So I just entered my password, hit Enter, and now it tells you that it's installing and it's going to take about 45 minutes. So I will leave this and if anything happens, I will turn the camera back on so you guys can see what's going on. So 26 minutes left, nothing's happened, but that little bar at the bottom seems to keep moving. All right, it's getting to be go time. We've got less than a minute remaining on the installation. All in all, it's taken, I'd say about 45-ish minutes. So definitely under an hour, but it's not a short installation process. But it was relatively easy because I saw just Accept a license agreement and let it go. All right, so it just changed. Tell me installation is complete. Install succeeded. Mac OS X was installed on your Macintosh hard drive disk. Computer must restart. Let's go ahead and restart it and see what it looks like now that we've got Snow Leopard fully installed.
thank you, back up your computer, browse your files with CoverFlow, email with style, chat using effects and backdrops, and then organize your work. It's quite nice, that video looks almost the same as the Leopard installation video with a little bit of flare at the end, so let's go ahead and hit continue. All right, let's see what else we got. Looks like that is it. We are now in Snow Leopard and looks to be exactly the same as Leopard so far. I'm gonna go ahead and use the features and see what the difference is. Definitely stay tuned for the channel for all kinds of Leopard coverage. I'll be going over all the new features, seeing how the speed works and see if there really is an advantage to upgrading. First thing I do wanna check though is a hard drive. Let's see if we got any space back. We'll go to get info. And I'm now at 182.87 gigabytes, as you guys can see. Actually, I did get a decent amount of hard drive space back. So if you're on a laptop with a smaller hard drive, upgrading to Snow Leopard will definitely give you a little bit of space back. So for exclusive content, be sure to check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers And to learn more about Techno Buffalo, check out technobuffalo.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.